Again this year, all Wild Lake Schools back to school and registration information must be completed through Skyward Family Access for all kindergarten through 12th grade students. This includes emergency cards, concussion forms, code of conduct acknowledgements, and any other paperwork requested by each individual school. The window for completing these forms opens district-wide on August 1st. To begin the online back-to-school packet process, you must log into Skyward Family Access. A link to Skyward can be found on every building website, as well as the Wald Lake District website. Online registration can only be completed using a parent ID. The username for a parent ID is alphanumeric, as opposed to a seven-digit number, which is a student access ID. To obtain a parent ID, please click here for directions on how to request your ID. Once you've logged into your parent account, you will see this year's online back to school packet listed among the quick links on the left of the screen. When you click on this link, a menu will appear showing the packet introduction for each school your children attend with a particular student's name for each child under their corresponding school. You will need to complete the back to school packet for each child. Click on the first child's name to begin. The first step for all students is the district's welcome letter outlining the back to school packet process. At the bottom right, click on the Next button to move to the next step. The next five steps, labeled A, B, C, D, and E, correspond to the information usually updated on the student's emergency card. Step A is the student's individual information. Here you can add a student cell phone number and or a student email address. This is not the parent's email or phone number. That will be added or updated at a later step. Move to step B by clicking on the button underneath the student information labeled Complete Step 1A and move to step 1B. This will check off that you've completed and verified the student information. Notice that a green check mark appears next to step A on the list indicating that the step is complete. Step B is the student's address. You will not be able to make any changes to this page. If changes are necessary, you must contact the school office and provide the necessary documentation. Click Complete Step 1B and move to Step 1C to move on. Step C is the Parent Guardian contact information. Here you can update email addresses and phone numbers if necessary. Click Complete Step 1C and move to Step 1D. Step D is the emergency information. Add any special notes regarding medical information in the box provided. Please only make medical notations in this box. Any other emergency information must be added through the school office. Be sure to include the abbreviation MED colon before your note. Click Complete Step 1D and move to Step 1E to move on. The last section under Verify Student Information is the Emergency Contacts. Here you may add additional names by clicking on the Add Emergency Contact button if necessary. You can also edit the phone numbers of any contacts as long as they are not guardians of other students in the district. If an emergency contact is the guardian of a student in the district, that person will need to update their information through his or her own account. Once completed with all five steps in the student information section, click on the Complete Step 1E and move to Step 2 section. Step 2 is the Demographic Distribution Information Form, the FERPA form. To view the entire document, click on the View Full Screen button at the top right of the window. If there is direct air information or any part thereof that you do not want released, please check the corresponding boxes. You are required to view this form, but not required to make any selections. Please read this document carefully, as it only needs to be completed if you do not want your information included. Once finished, click on the Click on Complete Step 2 and Move to Step 3 button at the top right to continue. Step 3 for all students is the Student Code of Conduct form. This includes the academic integrity and internet usage policies for the district. You must click on the link to open the Student Code of Conduct document in a new window. Printing and signing is not necessary. You acknowledge viewing this document in the final steps. Once you have read through the document, return to the registration window and click on Complete Step 3 and Move to Step 4 button. Step 4 for all students is the concussion form for each student. Click on the document to view the form. You will also acknowledge viewing this document in the final steps. You do not need to print this document. After reading the document, please return to the registration window and click on Complete Step 4 and move to Step 5. 
Step five and on will vary by building. If a link is provided, you will need to click on the link to open the document or web page before you will be able to complete this step. One of the steps, the number will vary by school, will be to pay fees or payment on lunch account. This will link to the district's payment system, eFunds. Building payments can be made through this system and money can be loaded on a student's lunch account through this system. Click on this link for a separate video showing how to create an eFunds account. Click on this link for a video showing how to use the eFunds program to pay for fees and add to a student's lunch account. Another step in the registration process will be access to the food service application. From this step, you can complete the application for free and reduced lunch, or check the box that states, I do not qualify for benefits or do not wish to complete an application. There will also be a step that will allow you to pre-order school pictures through LifeTouch. Here, the date school pictures will be held is listed, as well as the code for ordering pictures. If you would like to order pictures at this time, you can click on the school pictures link and the LifeTouch website will be open in a separate window. Another step is labeled as additional registration forms. This is a required step. Clicking on the link provided opens the registration website listing all additional forms in a separate window. These forms include the Administration of Medication Form and Board Policy, the Busing and Transportation Handbook and Brochure, the Criminal History Form, which is a form required for all volunteers that will be working one-on-one -on -one with students and must be printed and returned to school for each volunteer. Other forms include the Pesticide Advisory and the Student Insurance Options. In addition, each school has additional forms that are specific for that school only. On the right side of the screen, click on the school's name to jump directly to that school. When finished, return to the registration window. The second to last step for all schools is the acknowledgement form. Electronically signing this form indicates that you and your student have reviewed and approved all the prior steps in the back to school packet. Click the View Full Screen button at the top right of the window to view the entire document. Both the parent and student signatures are required on this document and indicate that both of you acknowledge and agree to all the statements and assurances provided. After signing, you may print a copy of the form for your records by clicking on the button at the top left of the window. The signatures will be recorded electronically, so you do not need to turn in a hard copy of the form. Once finished, click on the Complete Step button at the top right of the screen to continue to the final step of the Back to School Packet. The final step for all schools is the Submit and Complete button. Here, you will see a list of all the steps, required and optional, and the status of each. Once you have completed all the required steps, the Submit button at the bottom of the screen will become active. Click on this button to complete the Back to School Packet. Your Back to School Packet will not be complete until you have clicked this button. You will be taken to a confirmation page to verify that you have completed the Back to School Packet, as well as you will receive an email. If you realize you need to change some information, you may do so by clicking the link that says Mark the Back to School Packet as not complete and make the necessary changes. Be sure to resubmit the packet once finished. If you have additional students in the district, complete the Back to School Packet process for each student following these same steps.